Hello, all you fans of fun. Today, we're going to be talking about everybody's favorite construction toy, Legos. <laughs> it's a house. Lego is one of the biggest toy brands in the world. They appear in TV shows, movies, video games, everywhere. But this company didn't come pre-assembled. Let's take a look at how this was built piece by piece. This is what they got right with Lego. Click a couple bricks, build a building at a site. We talk about Legos, this is what they got right. The founder of Lego, Ole Kirk Christensen, didn't originally set out to make toys. He was a carpenter who made household items like ladders and furniture. Good thing he switched. His couches couldn't have been that comfortable. Eventually, Christensen started making toys. But instead of plastic bricks, he first made wooden ducks. Something tells me the wooden ducks won't be appearing in the Lego Movie 2. Too bad. I would have loved to hear the song Everything is Quack Quack. The name Lego means play well in Danish. But the company was almost Legio, which means Legion of Toys. Legio makes sense if you've ever seen a Lego fan's room. Legions of pieces as far as the eye can see. Speaking of names, the actual Lego toys were originally called automatic binding bricks. I'm guessing they changed it because it would be way too much of a mouthful to say, ow, I just stepped on an automatic binding brick. By the 1970s, Legos was an international hit. But one thing was missing. People! Early ideas for Lego figures were pretty crazy. Some prototypes had 3D eyes, ears, and noses. Ooh, yikes. Well, they can use these if they ever want to make the Lego Scary Movie. Ooh, so creepy. The Lego astronaut is now a classic, but other prototypes were blockheads. Literally. Houston, we have a problem. Eventually, in 1974, Lego released its first figure, and it was just a bunch of square bricks with a head and arms attached. Also, that face raised some eyebrows. Hey, but at least it had eyebrows. The next generation didn't have a face or arms, and its legs were just one big block. But on the positive side, it worked as both a figure and a lamp. Despite all these changes, the bricks have stayed the same. A brick from 1958 looks and works just like a new one. Isn't that cool, little buddy? Don't call me little buddy. I'm 60 years old. Oh. Sorry, sir. Lego has gone through many rebuilds over the years, but it has emerged from each one more popular than ever. In fact, in the time it took to watch this video, about 100,000 Legos were made. <laughs> Uh, I think I just drowned in Legos. Thanks for watching What They Got Right. What should I talk about next? Let me know below with a comment. Then, click up there to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every single day. Until next time, I'm Ruby J, reminding you to pick up your Legos.